Hi guys, Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango again and uh, right now when I got this beautiful transceiver Zygu X5105 right now I need to test this transceiver with uh, some kind of QRP antenna and uh, my uh, next uh, homemade uh, project will be uh, Humbrew small magnetic loop antenna okay so here you can see the parts uh, what I want to use uh, to build this uh, small magnetic loop the first part is uh, this uh, small PVC tube or the plastic tube uh, for the uh, mine loop I want to use uh, this uh, very heavy Nordix coaxial cable with, uh, the con with the connectors on the both sides for the smaller or for the small loop I want to use this RG58 cable with connector as well so here you can see uh, the uh, air capacitor maybe maybe about 300 picofarad I don't know never measured here will be the uh, plastic box for a capacitor and some plastic knobs okay so Let's go do it. Yes, and before I will start to make this antenna, I forget uh, on these connectors, female PL connectors. Okay, one part is uh, done. Uh, here you can see the box. I drilled uh, two holes on it, two holes, one here, one here, a connector is inside here, second one will be here, this is the hole for the knob, and here on the PCB board is mounted capacitor. and this capacitor will be right there so it will it will look so Okay, so now I made this little holder. It will hold this coax uh, of the mine loop on the place. I made this holder from this little piece of plastic. I cut this plastic here. It's the middle. It will be the screw here. I, I, I want to screw this plastic here to this to this PVC tube in the center and then I can put this coax here into this plastic and it will hold the cable on the place okay guys the holder is on the place screw is there and I hold on the pipe also this this uh, second holder for capacitor and right now we can mount the capacitor box and also coax
So, guys, antenna is complete, and uh, right now you can see uh, how it's done. So, this is the mine loop from from uh, a coax cable from Nordix RG58 small loop so here is the box or the plastic box with the, the air capacitor inside here is the uh, tuning so we can easy tune antenna and the plastic rod uh, I changed the uh, this plastic rod for the another one uh, with uh, uh, not so wide diameter is much better and uh, all is working excellent so let uh, let's do some uh, measurement right now okay so back on x5105 antenna is connected with this short rg58 cable and let's go for the swr uh, we have to find uh, the best noise or the highest the highest noise level increase increases to S5 and antenna analyzer SWR is falling down okay so almost almost one Point one, I suppose about 1.5 is in the best point okay so the next band ten megahertz again the noise Okay, analyzer. Okay, so this is much better. Very good. Twenty meters bound. Okay, very good. Seventeen meter or eighteen megahertz. Beautiful. Fifteen meg uh, fifteen meters, twenty one megahertz.
Okay. Twenty four megahertz. Probably the sparkling is on the capacitor. This peak, this peak is probably the uh, sparkling. I don't know. Okay, so next band, 28 megahertz. I need to tune again this antenna. It's, it's tuned too much high. Okay, so again, I'm trying to moving with tuning knob. Okay, this is much better. So flat SWR on 10 meters. It looks really good. Yeah, the bandwidth is much, much better, much wider. Okay, so you can see that this antenna is is working from 40 meters up to 10 meters continuously, of course, and can handle 5 watts from this transceiver. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video, and uh, I hope you will, you will enjoy. And I hope for some videos when I will be outdoor and will make some contact. 7-3, bye-bye.